European Union has effectively banned the sales of petrol and diesel cars from 2035 and it plans to aggressively shift to electric vehicles. But on the flip side, you have Switzerland, which recently became the first country in the world to ban electric vehicles. Yes, you heard it right. Switzerland is grappling with an intense energy crisis and to overcome that, it simply wants to take electric vehicles off the roads. The country has devised a four-step plan to cut down energy usage so that enough energy could be maintained for the winter season. According to these measures, the country might ban EV charging to reduce power usage in the cities. Well, this may sound bizarre and stupid, but there is more to the story than what meets the eye. The Swiss government is actually rolling out a plan to rule Europe's automobile industry. We will discuss this in detail. Meanwhile, you can subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Okay, first of all, let us understand that diesel and petrol car makers in Europe are angry. EU has asked all of them to achieve a 100% cut in carbon emission by 2035. This new rule will make it impossible for them to sell their cars in EU and will drive them out of business. Either they invest heavily in EV manufacturing or they will simply face a ban in EU's 27 nations. In fact, Volkswagen chief Thomas Schaeffer this week said that from 2033, the brand will only produce electric cars in Europe. EU argues that a fast transition to EVs is mandatory in order to wean off their dependence on Russian fuel. But the Swiss approach to the energy problem is starkly different. The government is clearly prioritizing fossil fuel-powered vehicles above all. The government's message is simple. It doesn't like the EU approach. And since Switzerland is not a member of the European Union, it is not obliged to meet the 2035 deadline to do away with petrol and diesel cars. Now, that is a lifeline for angry car makers in the European Union. The Swiss government is still encouraging the manufacturing of fossil fuel cars by banning EVs. In fact, the Swiss government view fossil fuel cars as the only way forward to deal with the energy crisis, since EVs use a lot of electricity. Numerous Swiss politicians are opposing the idea of banning diesel and petrol cars altogether. National councillor Priska Wismerfelder said in June that I fear that in three years, neither the necessary charging stations nor the required electricity will be available. Some say that other solutions such as hydrogen vehicles need to be developed fully before any kind of mass transition or ban. They are also calling the idea of banning petrol cars unrealistic and this approach is going to stay there for a long time. The Swiss economic minister in October said that the energy crisis is going to stay many years, going to last many years and that means the proposed ban on EVs will stay in place for many years to come. That will act as a magnet for European petrol and diesel car makers. Frankly speaking, Switzerland wants to become a key center for the fossil fuel-powered automobile industry. Even though the EU would be banning it after 2035, the car makers will still be able to export cars to emerging markets like China and India using Switzerland as their manufacturing hub. This is the Swiss grand plan to attract European car makers and become the automobile king of Europe at a time when EU is devising plans to abandon them. India's world, telling the right side of the story.